What does it all mean for the playoff now? All right, Florida and AM, they're on the outside looking in right now. The Aggies with a 30% chance to get to that playoff. The Gators are a little less, 15%. Remember, AM beat Florida head to head. That, according to the All State playoff predictor. Now, Alabama still leads the way at 98%, followed immediately by Ohio State at 86%. 14 days until selection day for the college football playoff, and we say Ohio State. And we evoke the college football playoff, and look who appears. Our college football playoff reporter, Heather Dinich, joining us on SportsCenter AM. And Heather, what did this Ohio State win do for its chances of cementing a semifinal spot? That was a critical, necessary step for Ohio State to get one game closer to becoming eligible, meeting that six-game benchmark the Big Ten has to play in its conference championship game. But as long as the game against Michigan remains a question because of COVID-19 issues within the Wolverines program, so does that number four spot. This week, though, Ohio State without its head coach, without 23 players, they did everything they could to impress the selection committee and at least this week cling on to that number four spot. The Buckeyes extend their winning streak in conference play to 18 games, matching the longest active streak in the FBS. Meanwhile, fifth ranked Texas A&M, a convincing win over Auburn. We just showed it to you. How will the committee view that W, especially if the Buckeyes don't have an opportunity to win the Big Ten title? Well, that's where it gets interesting because without a title, Texas A&M isn't going to have a title either because Alabama clinched the West and they'll play in the SEC championship game. They will be evaluated very similarly without that tiebreaker of the conference championship game. But the Aggies did exactly what the selection committee was looking for and their offense finally hit its stride. They had over 300 rushing yards. Kellen Mond accounted for three touchdowns. That's what Selection Committee Chair Gary Barta said they were looking for. They were already impressed with the Texas A&M defense, and that conversation for that fourth spot was a great discussion last week. We'll see if it continues to be a discussion, but they both played so well offensively, they'll probably stay right where they are at this point. All right, Football Power Index giving A&M at least a 78% chance to win each of its remaining two games, Ole Miss and Tennessee. Meanwhile, what are the other big questions facing this committee ahead of this week's rankings release? Well, I think one of them is going to be how high can the Big 12 rise? I mean, we saw Iowa State play a great game against West Virginia, and they have just been on fire lately. And I think that they remind everyone how important a, an entire season is because you see them get so much better. So can they jump Georgia? Can they jump Cincinnati? The Big 12 still needs a lot of chaos ahead of it to really get back in the playoff conversation, mm. but it would be interesting to see how far they climb. And can Indiana? Indiana get back into the top 10. Why does that matter? Because it would be a top 10 win for Ohio State going back to that argument about Texas A&M and Ohio State. It's going to be real interesting to see what they do with Coastal Carolina as well. And it was baffling to see Georgia rise in last week's rankings. So uh, the Bulldogs are an interesting storyline here as well. This week's top 25 ranking show Tuesday 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. That's Heather Dinich with the insight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.